Well, apparently I'm live. Uh, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just give me a thumbs up in the chat. And uh, let's see how we get on tonight. Um, I started, I just make sure that people can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Last thing I want is for people not to hear me. Um, let's have a look. Well, if uh, can people hear me? Let me just check. Right, I should be live. Hopefully, if you can hear me, just put a post in the comments. I can hear you fine, bud. Brilliant. That's good. Right, yo, nomad. Has he not wanted you to come on? Do you want to come on tonight? Um, I started this. Uh, was it last week? Wasn't it on the? live stream and i thought i'd carry on with it tonight get back into doing this uh, build as you can see i've uh, made it into a flappy box so it makes it easier to get all the bits that i need so uh 10 out of 10 for the sound that's all right then <laughs> you can hear me nice and well right so i'm going to bypass doing the um undercarriage tonight i'm going to try and get on with the cockpit assembly i think that's what's going to be the main crack tonight yeah <laughs> i can join though i don't feel like setting up a cam <laughs> Fair enough. Right, let's have a look what we've got here. Somewhere I have a nice pair of sprue cutters. Uh, right, so what do we need for this? F3. You're calling me on Discord. Um, That's it. I think that's right. And I'm just want to think, how do I get this on to uh, YouTube now then? Right. Cool. Yeah, I'm building a mosquito, mate. Yeah. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> Helen Ward, what are you building? I'm building a mosquito tonight. Mm. Mm. Ah. Yeah. How do I get you to come up on my uh, on the on the feed then your voice? Yeah, I thought just I'm you in my headphones. I'm like talking to you, <laughs> trying to set this up. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I'm using Streamyards. Yeah. Yeah. So how would I add that to you then? 
as I add you to the chat. Yeah. So I just invite you using um, StreamYard. No, I don't. No, I've only got my yeah. Yeah, they should be able to hear you, shouldn't they? Um, so have I got to share the screen then? Have I, or just um, yeah. Mm. What can Mike, yeah? Mm, I can't see it here, mate. Can't see it. Mm. Got general camera, audio, green screen, and guests. Mm, don't know. That's right. It doesn't matter. I'll just set it up. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just listen. You know, I will just crack on and do this. I just thought you. I know. I, I, I don't know how to use Discord. I'm just trying it out. This is my first one tonight. You see, so I'm just trying it out, just to see how it all comes together. Yeah, no worries, mate. All right. Catch you later. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Bye. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, right. Uh, let's get rid of that. So we're back. Uh, right. Let's have a look what we're doing. So we need that piece there. Or oh, unplug your headphones. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Thinks he's a bit of a clean up. Did everybody see the announcement today um, for the new um, YouTube? Uh, was it um, FX are now going to be doing their own monthly show on YouTube? Allegedly, um, basically talking about what's going on in the airfix world and we see that notification come through on youtube i did post it up in the scale scale model um scale model club discord group and uh it's about time that you know the airfix use youtube to their advantage really i you know i, I reckon be interesting hi jen zora how are you hello scale modeling limited good evening Hamish Heinkels is in. Steve's in. Yes. Six three three squad is your fate. This is what's going to be yours, Steve, when I finish building it. Uh, it's a bit of a tidy up. I need some sanding sticks. Have a look. Choose a bigger one. Mm, got 15 people watching tonight.
No, it was in that little hole there. Right, I'm sorry now. Go back in that little hole there. Perfect. Oh, I just moved it again. There you go, in that little hole. A little bit of Tamiya or Tamiya. Pedal there. Run a little bit of timing in that little gap there. I'm going to leave that to dry. Uh, That ah, fits like a glove. Fits like a glove. Hi, Handy. Is it Makeet? Is that how you say it? Makeet? Uh, steadiest of hands needed. Hi, right, Hamish. You alright, mate? What are you building at the moment, Hamish? Tiniest bit of flash. Oh no, can you see that? Got the, uh, let's see, how, is that focusing? Tiniest bit of flash on there, we have to get rid of that. Are you building the stugs, are you? How are you getting on with that? The number in is screwed though, why is it screwed? Just started the mold is crap. <laughs> Fair enough. It says it's there is a sixth part, but there isn't. So, which um, what year was the kit? I 
I'm assuming you're um it's a uh, it's FX I guess with this vintage vintage classic <laughs> Hi James, you up, my friend? Yeah, I totally agree with that. Just so I even yeah. It's very rarely you see flash on a tummy. Yeah, the older kits you do. I was just uh just jesting a little bit really. Nine sixty two grams. Uh, where's me pin vice? Ah, pin vice. Just what is one I've got? Is that one in it? Hi Island, uh, RC Duke, how are you? Did you get that model set I sent you? I sent it, yeah, it may take a while like because of COVID and that, but it is on the way to you, my friend. Smaller one, I think. There he is. That's about right. Written House Unit, how are you, my friend? So, the big Gearfix announcement is going to be. On the 6th of January, if this live stream works, I may have a go at live streaming the event and see what offerings they're going to have for us this year.
just take a little bit of more off there, I think. I haven't done a vintage classic for a long time to be fair with you Hamish I bought them I bought quite a few like ready for the uh, <coughs> unboxing and the reviews like but I've not actually built one yet but I mean I built them years ago but I've not built them reboxed if you see what I mean There he is. He's in position. I'll put it over there to dry. Is he straight? Not quite straight, is he? There he is. That's in position. Now he's done. Yeah, I like to do more of these live chats with others, building their models up. Like, I'd be really good because I got into it last week when we did that one with the lads. It was a good, good, good time. It was. So about four or five of us just uh, doing our little models in our little way. Hi, Astro Cat. Yeah, it's not too bad in the loft. The uh, the the uh, I will be uh, looking at investing in doing the the whole side after Christmas. We've got somebody coming in just to finish all that area over there. At the moment, all I can see is. Uh, it's just that uh, purple stuff, that pink stuff. Uh, oh, hi, monkey puzzle view. Hope you're well. Let's put that over there so he's out of the way. So, what we've got here now to do the seats so you've got um a16 a14 and a17 a19 Oof. Ella. a14 a16 A nineteen was a nineteen two. There was a nineteen. A nineteen, a fourteen, a seventeen, and a eighteen. Right. So a seventeen. So that's it there. That's right, isn't it? I 
and then 18 goes there. Oh, cool. That's nice, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, no worry, Fergus likes cats. It'll be uh, another time to do a stream. I just honestly, this is just me trying this out because I've never done it using the uh, stream yards before. I did do them on OBS, but that's on my Mac, and you know, I'm not lugging the Mac up here. I'm just using a Windows laptop that I use for discos or will be using for discos. I'm just trying it out and seeing how I get on with using StreamYard, Streamlabs, or StreamYard, I should say, innit? Yeah, another time, Hamish, as I said, I, I was hoping to get people on. Um, we all got let down tonight, but we will... Uh, We'll have a go at doing it next week. I think we'll do another live stream. I've got a couple of videos coming out this week anyway. I've got the uh, Matchbox 1984 Vintage Catalogue coming out. I've got a Revel Catalogue 1976 Vintage Catalogue coming out. And also I've built one of the Revel's 3D puzzles that I've got around Christmas time. I'm happy with that, you know. Oops. Quite a bit of a uh, lug on. Let's try and scrape that off. Let's try and scrape that off. Ah, uh, there you go. Mm. Coolio. It sticks out a bit, does it? He's in flush. What's in there, flush? Get the Ultimir in there. Question, how will you display it? Um, well, it's going to have the gearing down cockpit um, open. And so it'll be basically... Uh, given to a friend once it's done. That's looking alright, actually, isn't it? Do do do. Uh, what's the odds Airfix release? One th one three fifty HMS Queen Elizabeth the second aircraft carrier. What's the odds Airfix release? I don't think they will just yet. It'd be interesting though because um, they've done all the. Um, um, the new frigates, isn't there? Because I've been on one of them down in um, Devonport. Uh, which, one was, which one was it? I went on. Um, yeah. But I tell you, there'll be some kit, though, wouldn't it? There'll be some big kit. I suppose it wouldn't be too difficult, would it? You know, be a bit of fun.
Is it Type 45? Uh, which is the one I went on? I can't remember which one I went on now. I went on one of them. Glue in there. Perfect. That's the glue on that. And the seat. I'll give that a blow over in a minute. I'd like to know what they're going to do this year because it's been a bit of a crap year for releases, hasn't it? You know, we were promised the earth. Well, we were, was it six kits we were promised um, in 2020? And we haven't hardly got any of them. Is it, is it um, the Beaufort? Is that due out? And uh, we've got the Spitfire now, which was, uh, yeah. The Vosper. Uh. Oops. These are one of the greatest sets of pincers you'll ever need really good set this highly recommended by me uh, let's get you in there make sure you flush Defender, that's the one I went on, the Defender. Yeah. That's the one I went on here, Defender Crumbs. How did I forget that? Had the cutest fold-up helicopter ever. There's all the cockpit all done. So what I probably will do now is, is um, when I get the spray booth ready, I'll spray all them up. Yeah, Tammy of all birds. What's Tammy releasing this year, military wise? Because all at the moment, all I ever see, and this is personal opinion, all I ever see is that they're um, doing all the um, um, was it radio control car stuff. I know they're, they're trying to release a couple of Formula One cars again, aren't they? But they're trying to get the licenses for the um, for all the sponsorships stuff that's on them isn't it all right there's two parts of the cockpit that's all glued up what are they suggesting colors a hey. Mm. Colours to spray it all in one. Uh. 
X5, X21, X65, the same for the inside. XF5 is... Yeah, flat green. Cockpit. Yeah, Tamiya, the new tool one forty eight two thirty four eighty five is imminent. Is it really? Hello, Moral Wind, ES19. How are you, sir? So, Hitaka Paints. First time <laughs> I've ever used them. And I'm going <laughs> to spray it live. <laughs> one is that uh, it's not that one is it that one is it so we'll pull that one off pull that one on get the old compressor going Astro Cat, did you get your nice kits for Christmas? Um, I have got some kits in the stash. I've got a couple. Of, I want to. Uh, have I got them here? Um, this is going to look like a nice kit ready to be built. This one here, which is the Mini Art German Tractor. That's uh, one that I'm looking at building. Uh, 38029. I'm hopefully going to be um, doing an unboxing and a review of this one, but yeah, it's uh, it's a nice one. This it's gonna it's gonna look alright. I think it's one to thirty five scale. So yeah, that's the one I'm looking to do. In the future, uh, where is my roll of paper? But can you hear that compressor going? Because it's not vibrating the table too much, is it? Actually, I might put it on the floor or hang it out somewhere. Um, I got the D-Day Airfix kit Christmas, the big one. Oh, is that the Operation um, Overlord one? Yeah. Oh, finished. So 
So I'm going to be using the eye of water on this one. Neo, Neo by our water. All nice and clean inside. I got some paper somewhere. Where's my roll of paper? Uh, this is what happens when you try and do a live stream. Oh. Well, somewhere is my roll of kitchen roll, and I can't find it. Astro Cat, I love mini art kits, hundreds and hundreds of parts. I have their bore tank to build 2021. Ah. Yeah, it looks a bit, a bit snazzy, that, doesn't it? That, so I think I know what's the one I think you... Uh, what you're talking about when you mean. Where the hell is that? I'm annoyed now, I can't find... And a massive roll of it. Oh, oh do you use dirty rag? Dirty rag. So, has anybody used Hataka before? I'll be recommended to use Hataka. Hataka um, paints to try them out. Uh, which one do I want? I want the thinner. So what I want, get out a bit of a stir, stir him up. Put a little bit more in actually. Stocking up on models for next year as well. Yeah. I think if you've if you've seen um I've done a video of all the models I have, I have like about three hundred models. Thickened up a little bit better. Apparently, it's 50 50 for Hataka paint. That's, that's looking good. Whoops. So, why is that not happening? Turn the pressure down a little bit, I think. <laughs> yeah.
So that is. These are to dry. So the police are in Zai, oh, yeah. Well, we I live near a motorway, and all the all the uh, police cars. If there's a problem on the motorway, they all go up there. Clean. Something not right with this gun, you know. But uh, I wonder why it's coming out so fast. You and your man cave, mate. Yeah, man cave all the way. That's better. Leave that to dry. That's that one done. And then a little bit of thinners left in it for next time. There you are. Oh, what time is it? Of course, ten to eight already. <clears throat> I'm tempted to actually. <sighs> do 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 do. Interior grey. Oh. So we've got that bit far tonight. That bit there. We got some of the instructions, so I've got to leave that to dry now. Quite a bit there to put through. Some paint jobs there. It's a bit of brush painting required. Was that A5, A14, and A19? Oh. 
Julio. It's starting to get there anyway, isn't it? If you like what you see, just give this uh, channel a bit of a like. Well, I've got zero likes so far, so is it crap, is it? <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you hear an ambulance, you know Moz has tried to vape with a bottle of attacker by mistake. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid so, definitely. <laughs> um, Zephyr shows new rage, rage. Yeah, range, I think you mean. No, that comes out on the 6th of January at 9 a.m. If you go onto their channel... They're now announcing that they're going to be doing their own YouTube um, segment once a month. I think it's called um, Flight Deck. I think that's what it was called. So, yeah, that's the uh, that's what they're going to be doing. Their own little... Uh, um, their own little... Uh, tell it, who's it? eBay... Um, eBay. YouTube show. Exciting for them, I reckon. Dry. Do, do, let's, uh, let's fill them in. It's a bit of a. Can you see that in the in the in the? Can you see in the, the little bump there? I'm gonna have to fill that in. I think and rub that down. Got the stress marks. I have to cut that out, actually, don't I? I have to cut that one out. Is that right side? Yeah. I've got to cut that out and put in H7. So, using the drill, I've got to cut that bit out there. Yeah, not bad. I'm quite happy with that. Um, Astro Cat, I bet your mum's nicked it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a 40, 41, you're 42 in a few weeks' time. <laughs> what are the MIG ammo paint like to brush on? Never used them. Um, I haven't used the paint. These are the washes. Whoops. These are the washes. The new paints I've got in are the uh, acrylics in the in the dropper bottles that's the the new thing i've got but the um the, the with the ammo the only things i've got with the ammo is the is the washes that's my selection there streaking grime kersk soil tracks what that's a tracks wash and um a dark wash there and uh, the oil brushes gunmetal steel i've not used them <laughs> i just got them because i wanted to do a review for bulldog models for this um weathering station and it's a good bit of kit definitely a good bit of kit and if you go to their website and type in moz models five you get five percent off your order there you go quick plug for you there chris at bulldog models so yeah right i think i'm done for tonight that's an hour 
So I was coming on to do a live stream with somebody else, but or some others, but they decided that they didn't want to do it tonight for, for their own reasons. No, no judgment here. Um, but yeah, so we'll leave that to dry. Cool, cool. Let's put that away. Put that up there, safe. Put that up there, ready for to. Until I get back to doing that. Uh, cool, that's that done. Uh, if you look around tomorrow, I think there's this one. I've done a um, uh, what's it called on that um, page by page on this Matchbox catalog that'll be going live this week. I've also done the Revel one, which is this one here. So that will be announced this week as well. I just got to do the thumbnails for it ready. And I think that's pretty much it. Hi, Johnny London. Yeah, I'll see you around, mate. <laughs> I know it's not a review. <laughs> I know it's not a review. Let's put these back in. Put that on there. Put that on there. Yeah, I can honestly recommend these. Uh, these are absolutely fantastic. Really good. So, any questions, anyone? Any questions? You can chat to me about anything. Put that there. And I'll, I'll go use some... Um, I'll put the decals on, or the decals, depending if you're British or American, on them. Where's that brush gone? Leave them to dry. Oh, put that back in there. A bit tidy up. I can go back into the sprue cutter's drawer. So I know where they are next time I need them. Knife. There's the other. The other ones there. Do you know the diving velocity of a sparrow? Yeah, <laughs> I do actually. It's 82 miles an hour. And if you shoot it, it's um, only about 50 or 60 because it just floats. Doesn't actually uh, doesn't actually fly down. Oops, there's my ultra there. Actually, I was going to give this a clean actually. Here's a quick tip for you when you're cleaning your airbrush. Okay. Unscrew it all, and th I think the worst thing you can do is when you twist the lock nut, never pull back. Okay, always push forwards. All right, because if you do it, pull back, you're just pulling um, paint up through the uh, needle. It's quite dirty, that actually. It's quite dirty. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What do I need? Uh, there we go. Brilliant stuff. Also, the spray stuff's good as well. Which is... You can get some of this Badger airbrush cleaner. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh... Um... I like to see the Western Whirlwind Heavy Fire Whirlwind. They have an old kit of a Whirlwind. I must buy right now um, twin engine Heavy Fire armed with a 420mm cannon. Was it? Crumbs. Also, when you get this one for Vallejo, have you noticed that the, the nozzle is not pointing up? It's at the side. Can you see that? So you just do that. A little bit of spray in there.
<sighs> I tried to clean mine with a badger. They're very aggressive. <laughs> Oh, we've got the comedians in tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That's a lot better. Yeah, I've heard that, James, that they are... I tend to keep everything separate. I'm a bit old school, apart from Humbrew, and I will use... Um, I will use um, either... Tamiya um, acrylic thinner was it uh, X20A? Or I will use, and I recommend this actually more than that, is the uh, Mr. Color 400, the leveling thinner 400. That's the one I would use on Humbrew. Um, you know, it's uh, it's all right, you know, it does what it says on the tin. I could clean up. There you go. Whoops. Dropping everything here. Yeah, yeah, you can have a laugh. Have you a spray booth, mate? Yeah, I do actually, but embarrassingly, it is absolutely full of models and bits and pieces because I've just moved it everything up from downstairs to up here and um i've just piled it through stuff it's actually quite untidy around here at the moment i'm quite embarrassed by it um but uh, you know it's uh it will be cleaned in the end it will well this will be all sorted you know i'm, I'm off work now until new year so hopefully i'll get a lot more a lot more done in this room to be all nice and clean and tidy. But I, I do have a spray booth. But also, if I'd use a spray booth, I haven't got a camera there, so I'd rather do it here. I've got, um, you know, all the all the mod cons and everything for a spray booth. It's, you know, I I found a filter online. No word of a lie. This woman wanted, like, 30 quid for it. They needed a new filter, and the filter was 20. But the actual issue, the, 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 the man who had it was... um. A uh, spray brush artist, and um, he, um, you know, he died, and I bought it. But when I looked up online, there were three hundred pounds for this complete set, like you know. So I got an absolute bargain online, and uh, but it's just quite expensive for the filter. <laughs> My rooms are messes; they were well full of models. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as I said, it's uh, it's got to be cleaned and tidy in here. Have you tried any of the classic Airfix 1600 kits yet? I recommend the Iron Duke model, which is a decent-looking model with with potential for detailing. No, I haven't. Um, no, I haven't, unfortunately. Um, want a tip? Used to work in dealerships. Get a pollen filters instead. Yeah, I um, I actually my yeah, I uh, I have contacts in that trade the problem i've got with that is it's very very thin and the pollen filters are, so i think i mean the filter on this is more like how can i describe it um you know that foam that you get to wrap presents with or wrap parcels you know that stuff your telly comes in it's a little bit thicker than that and uh trying to get um trying to get the um you know that thin really but um yeah i will have a look at that versus the ones i've seen they're just too too you know it's, what size is it it must be it must be 12 inches by 15 inches okay the tester's glue bottle one with a very fine tip talk about the metal tip on the end if it's got the metal tip on the end it's quite simply just put it put a, um, a lighter underneath it and just take it from there. All right, that's done. Coolio. That can go back in there. That can screw up into there. 
cool get the needle push that in as far as it will go screw him tight then let him out I think that's better. Hmm. Right. Try again. Hey, love hair brushes. Hey, clean them. Yeah, I'm in the same, mate. About the resistance. Yeah, just see a little bit poking out. Right, push him a bit more. I see him. Screw him up. So yeah, when you do that, always remember when when you're doing your airbrush, unscrew and take off the the, the tip, and always push one way with your needles. That way, you won't be dragging paint up through. And quick, go over with this. And I'll, when I do my next live show, I'll make sure I've got the the paper towel ready. I had a big roll of it here. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, top of the bottle is. Is it all right? So, is it got um? What can how can I describe it? Uh, what have I got? Yeah. Um. So, is the glue bottle the testers one like this? But it's got like the the metal tip on the end. Yeah. If it doesn't come out of there, you put a put a bit of heat on there. Nah. Let's have a look. So it's not like that. The Tesla cement plastic squeeze bottles. Terrible packaging, yeah. So I thought, I thought the Tesla's one had a metal like needle on the end. Oh, right, you can't. I've got about 60 of these bottles. Just saying. Right, so that's my airbrush cleaned. Look at that, all nice and clean and shiny. I'm still on an R and about this because I tell you what, the Ultra is such a good little tool. I don't know whether to move up and get the in the Infinity. I just can't justify it. I really can't. Whoops, put the camera again. I've seen people decant that Revel stuff into Tamiya pots. Well, why would you, though? Because, you know, you've got the, with the Tamiya set, you've got, like this one here, I've got the extra, 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 extra thin. I've got the, this one here, which is quite thick. And it's just, it's basically, it's like one massive big, big brush. And you've got the, this one here, the extra, extra quick dry and thin. And... This one here. Hi, MASE model assembling. How are you, my friend? Mine is down the bottom of the garden. Any chance of having a look around your man cave? There is. Um, if you go back through the uh, go back through my videos in the past month, I did uh, videos. Of the setup here it's not quite done yet and um, what i will do is that when it's all tidy and everything i'll do one big one big massive video on on my setup if you look um through the video through the i think it's the review videos you'll see my hard castle um my hard castle metal chest that i used to put all my stuff in um I, I, you know uh, all labeled up and everything else so yeah if you want to um have a look at that there's loads of videos there obviously of of what i you know how i set up my, my room and everything and so it's just behind me if i tilt the camera up slightly there you can see all that area needs to be floored <laughs> all you can see is bubble wrap and um insulation um over there there's my hard castle um top box full of stuff 
but yeah, that's basically where I'm at, at the moment. There's going to be lots more to do in this room here as I get around to it. And I've got to adjust this back down here. Whoops. I'll get the camera steady. Like, pause for gate. There you go. Uh, come on, back you go. Ah. Need to get a decent camera stand as well, don't I? As well. So, yeah, that's really where it is. Behind me, I've got all my paints. Yeah, tool chest, mate. Um, yeah, I use a tool chest. I just find it easier. And uh, I use a Dynamo labeler, my little special toy that I use. And I, and I basically, I, um, I, uh, mark up all the shelf and all, all the um all the all the all the drawers but there is a video if you look there's a video that keeps all my acrylic paints in there um or my enamel paints are in it my sanding sticks sprue cutters glue cement masking tape pin vice if you go back through the videos you can come across it i think it's called uh, repurposing my work area i think it was called or um my sacred space um mase model assembly uh i haven't built anything from mini art hence why i got given a trap for christmas i do i've done a few reviews on the kits um i uh yeah yeah there's this one which i've uh which i'm going to build this coming few months if you go back to my stash I've got this bad boy here, um, the SU-85 with crew, um, you know, early production, 1943. I'm tempted to get it all in the camera here. But, you know, that's to build as well, but I haven't got around to it. I'm not really a fan of tanks anyway, to be honest. Um, okay, the other one, I've got... Um, yeah, I think I see it. I've got um, the Avro, what I call the helicopter plane. I can't remember what's called. I did a review on it. Um, basically, it, I can't remember what they're called now, but it was made by Avro. Uh, I got a mini art kit of Athean Hop Light. Nice kit, still painting it. Oh, fair shout. Put some pictures up on Instagram and tag me. Moz models, uh, Moz 6510 models. Uh, just tag me in anything you want to, you want to show me on Instagram. Follow me and just tag me in your pictures and I'll come and have a look. Always happy to do that. Um, you know, there's a Discord called the Scale Model Club. There's links in the descriptions on the videos. Um, if you want to join me up there to have a chat, join me there. There's also a Facebook group called the Scale Model Club. Um, if you want to meet me there, I talk on most of these platforms with other model modelers, etc. So I'm happy to chat with you there um also gyro that's the word I, I tip of my tongue mate tip of my tongue that's exactly what it is yeah i've got one of them to build which i'm looking forward to doing actually that was going to be my over christmas and then we've done the attic and everything else tag you in anything challenge no 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 don't don't be <laughs> i'll end up with purring cats and stuff but you know Tag my wife in them things, but not me. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you want me to see, just put it on Instagram. And um, I was thinking of doing um, a highlights reel, like doing a reel of um, people's models and just showing them off to people on YouTube um, at some point. Um, yeah. So that, that's something for the future anyway. Did you all see the, um, the new Jag from Revel, the um, E-Type Jag they brought out? really 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 nice kit really worth the money it's in one of the videos go back through um definitely worth uh paying a few dollar for anyway <laughs> yeah i'd love to get a real auto gyro like the one in the road warrior <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's bait right that's my ultra all clean now that's it yeah, that's my only little tip. Just always push forward. Never pull the needle back. Always push the needle forward. Remove the nib, push the needle forward, and you won't drag paint. Since I've been doing that, I think it was, is it is it Squid 8 on YouTube mentioned it? 
And ever since then, I've always pushed it forwards and never had a problem. True story. I see that a new kit from Revel. I see that new kit from Revel, and I'm like, oh my god, Revel is good. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's still that plastic though, that like tinny plastic, isn't it? Very much so. One of them. So yeah, right. I think I'm almost done for the evening. Well, that's not bad for my first stream up here with using StreamYard. I may even pay for it so I can um, do more uh, bits and pieces to it. Um, you know, add banners and stuff and chats and um, was it called super chats? And we said about oh, you get super chats. Don't don't answer people's comments so they give you a super chat. <laughs> I don't even know what super chat really is. So there you are. Right. Revel are good until you get a coffee one. A coffee one. What does that mean? Am I behind that one? Right. So I think we're pretty much done. Oh, yeah. I got this for Christmas as well. I forgot. Yeah. This Mustang from ICM. So Sue so wrote in the chat that they, um, the ICM is like mini art. Who wrote that in the chat? No, I'm not even opened it. Who wrote that? Um. Yeah, uh, send it, Vasil. Um, is it Vasily? Vasily, yeah. Um, send it to me on. Um, send it to me on um, Instagram. DM me on Instagram. Um, there are revels. Yeah, the coffee. I don't. Know, I like the coffee ones. I'm not too keen on the hard toffee or caramel ones. To be fair. Um, do you ever build any mecha kits? No, no, I haven't. Um, Moral Wind, I like the idea of the top 10 models. Yeah, we could do that. Always, always keen. Um, how long have you been making models for? Well, I, my first model, I think, was with my father. I was eight, eight nine, ten years old. Um, I, I, we, I think we built um, a shuttle. Uh, it was a space shuttle. It was one of the first ones I built. I know it was either that or a lorry. Um, a was lorry driver but that's what got me into into scale modeling is because i love space and i think revel and airfix and tamir or tamir whatever you want to call it and all of them are just are, are missing a trick look how we're in the biggest space race the biggest space race since the 1960s 70s 80s we've got these massive companies now building these fantastic rockets the dragon blue origin Virgin Galactic, you know, they're building these things that are going to send us to Mars. And we still got rockets, you know, that take us to the International Space Station. And none of the kit manufacturers are making scale models of this. All they do is is they bring out another um Apollo Apollo 11, if you see what I mean. They need to get um back into it you know i built a, I, I think i did the challenger i think it was a discovery or challenger when i was a youngster then i went away i've come back and i've gone away again and i've come back again um you know so i've i've hit like all you know i know when i was first doing kits it was just acrylics um just enamel paints and now you know matchbox were bringing out acrylic paints obviously but we already had it enamel paints and then all of a sudden the critics come in and now we're airbrushing you know for me it was always using a airbrush uh you can't i'm afraid mate um vasily because um youtube don't like you um putting links up into the chat for that i believe i think they're trying to stop it um but um you're quite welcome to send me send it to me on um on uh, instagram obviously is it hard to get 100 subs when you make making videos about models like you? Yeah, first 100 was the worst. And then the next 100 was the worst. And the next 100 was the worst. Um, you've got to be interesting. You know, um, there's no point putting a camera above it, 
have it upside down. Actually, work at work at your angles when you when you're doing um, when you're recording. Just make sure that you are where you, you know. Make sure make sure that it just looks good. And also, a couple of things. Um, what was I going to say then? Yeah. Um, people who watch videos are very forgiving when it comes to the picture. Okay. What they're not forgiving is audio. Make sure your audio is as best you can. You know, um, the latest phones are pretty good for recording and um, using the microphone on there. But yeah, it's, it's a true fact when my, you know, getting the audio right, the visuals, you know, can be forgivable. But if you have a crap audio so they can't hear you properly or there's hissing or, or the music's too loud while you're talking over it, it ain't, they just turn off. They turn off. Um, sorry, mate. Well, we have, is it, if you, do you own a shop? Do you sell the model kits? Do you? Oh, you're now 55. Okay. No, send me a DM on Instagram and, um, and I will, um, I'll have a look at your channel. I have a good mic, I think. Yeah, you probably probably have a good mic. Yeah, crap audio. I switch right off. Yeah, I've failed as well. One of my um, one of my videos, the the music's a tad too loud. So when I'm speaking and the music's in behind, it's a bit, it's a little bit too loud. And so people commented on that. So I made sure that I keep my levels really good. But when you're whistling and you've got feedback and whatnot, or you know, it, it's not good. Just get this box up. Let's have a look at this box. ICM. I was going to just end up chatting tonight. That's good, isn't it? It's good. 55 is pretty good. How long have you been doing the channel for? Because 55 is really good. Oh, look at that. Look, well done, ICM. I like that. Makes it into a top opening box. Uh, so how'd you get into it? <laughs> oh, there you go. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Oof. Hmm. What do you reckon of the decals? Hmm. They're quite matty, aren't they? Quite a bit there. Mustang P fifty one B, one to forty eight scale. Mm. Eight colours needed. Olive drab. Mm. Exploded view instructions. Is it one, two, three? Right, okay. Interesting. So yeah, that's that's one that I got given. So I'll have a look at that. Get your microscope out. Oh my microscope. One of my best best buys of the year, that is. My microscope. What are I doing that microscope? There you go. A digital microscope. Come on, turn on. Oops. Up and down. Not working now. When you're working, oh, it's not working. Oh, there it is. Now it's working for the decals.
Ah. Mm. Not looking too bad, is it? Ding. Ow. Oh, there you go. There you go, my digital microscope. Bit of fun. Oh, right. I think I said, what time is it? Comes it's half past eight. We've been on here an hour and a half. Marvellous. Uh, laugh a lot. No, I didn't mean for the ICM. I, I, no, I mean for the ICM instructions. They are so small. Didn't know you had one. Yeah. I've got a digital microscope. It, they are the greatest. They really are. Especially, you know, you're there looking at, at the mod, what you're painting and, you, and you're painting away. And you have this, have this, you know, it all, yeah, it just works a treat. Absolutely works a treat. Yeah. Cool. 22 watches. Thank you so much for uh, spending time with me while I build the cockpit up on the, uh, on the mozzie. That's a great idea. I've never seen them before. No, they're about 50 quid on Amazon. Um, they are quite good. I like these stands for glues from Black Dog. Ah, which ones are they? Neat gadget plus my old handheld magnifying glass to shame. Yeah. You know, it, it, it works a treat. It is, especially, you know, my only suggestion is when you actually use it, when you're actually using it, and um, and you know your fingers, look where you're doing first, and then move on. Let me just turn it on. Because they do take a little bit to get used to. Let me just put them there. Um... I've got nothing to, um, what have I got here that I can use? Okay. Uh, what's that there? That's the the wheels. Um, I'm sorry, I'll just get this bit out. Just just so that you know. When, say, um, say you're painting up, you're painting up these these wheels, okay? So you, you, you adjust it upwards or down, depending on how you want it, and it just you focus it in. And then what you do, you get your you get your brush. Which was that one there? So you get your little brush, and then put it in position. Look at where you're painting, and then look at the camera. So you see, so you're following the, the following it around, like so. Yeah, you got to use both eyes. <laughs> you cannot start a fire with the digital. <laughs> Yeah, write to me on Instagram, MASA Model Assembly. Yeah, definitely. Or go on the Discord on the Scale Model, the Scale Model Club Discord. I'm on there. Um, you know, definitely um, get in contact with me there if you need any help. So yeah, you know that's um, that's basically how it works. It's 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 a it's a phenomenal bit of kit, really. It's definitely worth it, and because it's um, USB. You can also take pictures. You can actually film and take pictures with it as well. You charge it there using um, using a point. So yeah, there's no need to. That's for your um, your light, how bright you want the light, etc. You can turn it up. It's a good bit of kit. I'll put a link in the description down below, so you'll be able to um, be able to buy one if you want one. How did you do that, John? Such a boomer. Uh, don't get that. Uh, let's get a bit over me, right? So, there you go. So, I've we built the, the basics of the mozzie there now. So, what I've got to do now is just do get the old pens out and do all the little dots and everything. I might give it another coat of something else, but yeah, it's not looking too bad. Put the decals on there when that's all dry, looking pretty good. Then, hopefully, next week we'll move on and do more of the more of the fuselage. I ain't a boomer. I am Gen X. What's Gen X? I'm I'm 79. So what is that? I'm 41 years old. So what does that make me? What does that make me? Ah, there we go. 
Okay. No worries, M-A-S-E or, or Maze, whatever you want to call yourself. Let me know how you want to be called. And, um, yeah, hit me up on Discord and we'll have a chat. Uh, X-Gen is 65 to 75, are you? Fair play to you, mate. Fair play. So you're retired now, are you? Um, I was going to say, uh, Vasily, if you want to send me that website, if you go to the About page, there is um, an email address, and you can write to me on email if you want to write to me on email. It's confusing, Moss. <laughs> Anyways, it's half past eight. Right. Lovely speaking to you all. Thank you all for watching my channel. And hopefully I'll be back in another couple of days and we'll do some more on this mosquito. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified on any new videos. Any questions, any comments, put them in the box below. And I do reply and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, folks, and we'll see you next time.